Hey you guys, I am back this time with a, um, a, a small, a quick video here from L3 Waxy Wonders. Um, and this is a mystery box that I ordered, I think it was like a week ago or something like that. So up on the Facebook page, uh, Jennifer, she put up, I think it was 10 lots that were, you know, like first to comment me, we'll get it, uh, for, it was like 26 bucks ship, something like that. And then she, later she put up another one that was, um, 10 lots as well for mystery boxes, but it was like a random.org drawing. So I was just lucky and happened to catch it when she put up the one that was me first, so I commented there. Um, because I have not actually ever placed an order with L3 Waxy Wonders. I did get a decent amount of stuff before in a flash sale. I melted through some of it. At the time, that was like the first flash sale. No, the second flash sale I had ever participated in, and I was like meing all over everything. So I felt really bad about that. So I de-stashed, um, I think, quite a bit of my L3 Waxy Wonders and gave some away to family and friends to kind of share the love. And then I felt like I wanted to get more because I kind of looked at my L3 stash and I was like, man, like, where did it all go? So another thing I want to say about L3 Waxy Wonders is that, um, it's my understanding that, so anybody can order, for example, like one single tart in up to three cents. So basically, if you, you can put an order for like just this. Well, in order to make this little chunk here, I believe that Jennifer has to make a whole pan of it in this same exact scent, and then you pretty much only pay for this one chunk, and maybe, I'm guessing here, I don't know, like 16 chunks come out of the pan, something like that. So I believe that that's the reason why she has so many flash sales, is because she ends up with a lot of extra chunks, um, you know, in scent blends that aren't particularly ordered, so I think she's like pouring orders, and then she's ending up with all of these extra chunks, and then she puts them together in mystery boxes and flash sales and stuff. So I think that's the reason why she has so many flash sales, just because of how she's doing this. Now this was a really good price. This was, I weighed um, these chunks here. They weighed 30 ounces, a little above, like 30.5 ounces. And like I said, I think I paid, it was like 25.70 or something like that um, for it shipped. So, I mean, that's less than a dollar an ounce, uh, including shipping. So I don't know how she's making any money. <laughs> like, I really hope that she's making a profit because when I calculated it all out and waited, I was like, that's a really good price for this wax. Okay, so two and a half minutes in here, so actually getting into the haul. So she did send samples too, which is above and beyond, you know, for this already. So this one in here is in pistachio macaroons. I believe people really like her pistachio. I myself am not a pistachio person. So that's not for me, um, but I'm pretty sure her pistachio is pretty popular. This one here is a uh, time warp. I'm assuming is that a uh, nod to like Rocky Horror? My dishwasher is going again. I'm sorry, you guys, if you can hear that. Now I don't have a uh, scent description for this one, but I like it. What is? Is this like a strawberry? Hmm. I don't know what that is. It smells kind of like an effervescent, um, sh like berry or strawberry kind of scent, but. Uh, I'd be curious to look that one up. That one's pretty good. And then the last sample here is in Cookie Cookies, which is pretty good. I think I can detect, let me smell this out of the bag. And I, could, I couldn't tell you what kind of cookies this is. It doesn't smell like any one particular cookie, like it's not a sugar cookie scent, it's not a chocolate chip cookie, to me at least. It kind of smells sort of peanut buttery. Is that, is that, um part of a peanut butter cookie scent? I'm not sure. But anyway, so that one is um, also uh, really nice to be included as a sample. That's above and beyond whenever any of the vendors do samples. Okay, so getting into the chunks here, since this is the mystery, you know, uh, package, obviously, you know, my blends may be vastly different from what other people got. So this first one here is an Ice Princess. I believe this is one of her um, pretty well-known and popular blends. I think this is Pink Sugar and Peppermint. Yep, Pink Sugar and Peppermint to me for sure. So that one is definitely nice. I think I still got a good stock of pink sugar, pink, pink sugar, -er, pink sugar and peppermint left anyway of some from some other vendors too. So that is definitely welcome there in my collection. This next one here is fruit slices and rainbow sherbet. Kind of perfumey on a whole. I, I, I don't know which one of these two uh, fragrances is the perfumey one, but hmm. It's, it's just like a perfumey fruit scent, I would say, um, all in all. Uh, this next one here is, I think this one I really like, Zucchini Bread um, Vanilla Cookies. These chunks are all pretty good sized. I really love this one. I really love, 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 love a sweet 
um, zucchini bread scent, like what I consider like a zucchini cake kind of scent, or in this case a zucchini cookie. This one is really, really gorgeous. So thank you to whoever um, ordered this one in that particular bun. That one's really good. This next one here is zucchini bread coffee bean. That's what it looks like there. Now this one is like very heavy on the coffee. And I am not a huge fan of this coffee scent. Um, the, the coffee scents that I do like are more of like a caramel coffee or a mocha or kind of like a coffee that you would think with cream in it. This one smells like a much stronger, more potent um, coffee scent, I would say. And I cannot really detect any zucchini bread. Maybe a slight zucchini bread, but super strong on the coffee. So that one's not going to be for me, but I will probably give it to my husband's daughter's family um, because uh, they're big fans of coffee scents. And they, well, I don't like coffee. I don't drink coffee, but, you know, they drink coffee, so I think they'll like it. I don't know if you guys think it's weird that I always say my husband's daughter's family because um, my husband is 20 years older than me. So his daughter, she's only like four years younger than me, so... I would never, ever, ever call myself or consider myself a, like, stepmom to her or any of his kids because that's just weird and wrong. Um, so I always just refer to her as my husband's daughter, you know, because that's just weird. Yeah, yeah, I'm married to a dirty old man. All right, this next one here is pineapple, strawberry, marshmallow fluff. Hmm, I think there's something in here that's, okay, first of all, the marshmallow is very, very sweet. It's a super sweet marshmallow. And it does blend well with the pineapple and the strawberry, but I don't think that I'm a, the hugest fan of this um, pineapple fragrance oil. I'm very picky about pineapple, though. Hmm. But, I mean, it's still, but it still smells good, and I think it's a nice blend. I think, um, and a lot of the times, too, once you melt something like that, you know that, like, more perfumey artificial note kind of wears off anyway. But that's a very creamy, um, very sweet marshmallow, and the marshmallow is very strong. This next one here is Cinnamon Crunch Cake Pumpkin Vanilla. There's like wax all over my countertop, you guys. Every time I turn these over, there's it's falling everywhere. Definitely, you can smell the cinnamon and the pumpkin. Yeah, it's mostly a cinnamon pumpkin kind of fall scent. So I wonder if I'd be able to um, hang on to this chunk here until kind of like late summer and melt it as the fall comes along. Now this one here, I, I really loved how this one looked. And this is ridiculous. If I look in here, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six. I can see six different colored chunks in here. That green is slightly different from that green. So when making this one, she made like six different colored chunks, at least there could be more in someone else's chunk and then had to over pour it. That's a lot of work. Like a lot of work went into this one. So this one is ex extreme fruit salad. I do like this one. I, I don't know if extreme fruit salad, like if this is supposed to be a marshmallow over it, but there's a sweet note in here for sure. It's just like a sweet, creamy fruit um, scent. So I'm assuming this overpour is like a marshmallow, I, but I'm not, that's what it smells like to me. But that one is definitely a winner and probably the prettiest chunk in here for sure. This next one is sugar milk strawberry. And I was really excited when I saw this one because um, I'm coming around to milk scents. I think I'm beginning to appreciate them. And I had one in a similar blend from Vintage Seek Scents that I really love too. And this one smells just delicious. I really do like that bitter, slightly sour milk scent in here. But the strawberry smells good. I do quite like that strawberry. That's a really nice strawberry fragrance oil. Okay, this next one here, this is Pistachio Coconut Fluff Serendipity Pink Sugar. <laughs> it just kind of is bad. I mean, with a mystery box, it is what it is, right? Somebody out there, tons of people out there will love this one. But it's funny for me because I don't like pistachio. I personally don't like coconut. And I personally do not like serendipity. So I saw this one, I was like, this one's going to definitely have to go to family. Yeah, when I smell it, I mostly smell the coconut and the serendipity. I mean, it's pretty much a very strong coconut note. And I can smell pink sugar in there too. But the coconut is the strongest. And not a whole lot of pistachio on cold. But I mean, to be honest, it's mostly just a pink sugar coconut scent to me. So um, I could probably deal with that. But I know somebody else, else out there will appreciate that much more than me. And I'd rather have it go to someone who will... Like, really love it. This next one here is Brown Sugar Fig Vanilla Bean Noel. Nice chunk. I like this one, and I maybe it's the brown sugar. This one takes me straight back to fall. 
there's something in here that smells kind of similar to like a cashmere scent that I think I got before from Glade because it when I first got into wax I think the first some of the first wax smells I bought were, were, were from Glade and one of them was cashmere woods and this one smells for some reason similar to it so this is just reminding me of a fall so this is another one I may want to keep around into the fall but that it smells really good it's 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 really good I don't think I can I don't really know what figs smell like it's you know it's kind of funny like I look at all of these fruit fragrance oils and a lot of them like a lot of them we all know what they smell like strawberry orange stuff like that but like to be honest I've never eaten a pomegranate except for maybe one time I had a pomegranate Greek yogurt with like parts of pomegranate in it you know like I've seen figs and I've eaten them maybe once you know or like I've gotten lychee flavored stuff and I've never had a lychee you know rhubarb I've never been close to rhubarb I think ever in my life so it's kind of funny how I always see these different fragrance oils for fruits and I like jump on it and then later I'm like I don't think I even know what that smells like <laughs> do you guys do that too yeah I don't, I don't know it's kind of funny right you know what's one fragrance oil I would love to see more out there is kiwi I really love kiwi and I don't see a whole heck of a lot of it. Sorry you guys, I'm rambling. It's um, Friday night. This is what I do on my Friday nights. Yes, I am super cool and um, my husband is working pretty much the whole weekend so I pretty much have the whole weekend to myself to make YouTube videos. So you're going to get videos like this with me rambling at the end. Sorry! Okay, you guys, anyways, I hope that you like that. Um, and once again, L3 Waxy Wonders, I think very reasonably, very reasonably priced uh, wax. I do believe her turnaround time is growing, obviously, because if you guys understand like how she operates her business, where she's got to pour a whole pan of that just to sell one chunk, and then she does the flash sale. So that's kind of um, how she's working it right now. And she seems to be a really hardworking lady and is trying to push out the orders um, as fast as she can. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.